Hey cutie pies, I am Lenikia and this is what happened on the soaps, the Young and the Restless edition. Today is Wednesday, April the 20th, 2022. And alright y'all, this is what happened on Young and the Restless. Now stay with me because I just finished watching it so I'm just going to try to put it all, again, all together. Okay, so... Okay, so Adam is with... Adam is at the hotel, right? And so he's waiting on Sally. And um, he remembers the first time, I guess, that they were together and everything. And I told you yesterday, she had it all set up real nice for him and everything. So he's like, okay, okay. And so he hits her up because he, she hasn't made it there. And he just tells her, be careful because the roads are really dangerous. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it Sally who got hurt on the road? Because you never know. Sometimes soaps be pulling one on you. And so, but anyways... Sally ends up making it in, and so she, we've realized she was not hurt. So, you know, him and Sally are, are talking, and she's congratulating him and everything. And then he gets a phone call for Victor, from Victor. And Victor updates him that, you know, we can't find Victoria, and she was in some kind of accident. And we want to know, you know, that she's okay. So he tells Sally, and Sally's like, oh, my gosh, you know, I hope she's okay. I, I hope everything is fine. And he was like, yeah, she's real tough. If, you know, if something happens, she'll pull, she can, she'll, she'll be okay. But he goes and sits down and Sally says, this is really bothering you, isn't it? He was like, yeah, what do you think? I'm just this heartless man who just thinks about um, himself. You think I just did the, um, excuse me, that I would at this time that instead of thinking about my sister being safe, that I would actually be thinking about my uh, motivations or how this could help me at Newman. And Sally was just like, dang. And I said, uh, Adam, where did this come from? Because Sally didn't say nothing of the sorts. Sir, you're projecting. You know I like me some Adam, but you're projecting. And Sally says, you hurt me with that. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. I didn't mean to put that on you. I'm so sorry. She said, no, do you understand how you hurt me with that? She said, I expect other people in this town to think that I am up to no good, have no, you know, would, would be cruel or whatever. She said, but not you. Like, you know the real me or whatever. And I would never wish that on a person. And we found out he was projecting. He said, okay, what if I told you that I... I, I want Victoria to be okay, and I don't want anything to happen to her, but I did think, well, if something happened to Victoria, that could be a leg up for me, and he said, I hate myself for thinking like that, and Sally says, babe, the mere fact that you are thinking like that lets you know the type of, you know, you're a good man or whatever, the fact that you hate that you are thinking like that and everything, but that was pretty much it with them. He's just worried about, about Victoria, and y'all know, okay, listen. I'm not saying Adam was right for that, but there have been certain circumstances where sometimes you hear bad news about someone and you're like, oh man, that sucks. And you really genuinely hate that for them, but you do kind of think about what about me? And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's for that's human nature to kind of think about what about you, but that doesn't mean you want wish bad things on someone. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna let you pass on this, Adam. I mean, I I mean, I'm gonna let you pass on it. All right. So he just is concerned because he's like, I'm always the last person to know everything. And the only reason they even involve me in stuff is because they want information. Sally said, Victor called you and told you about Victoria. He said, only because he wanted information. If he didn't want information, I probably would have never heard about this. I, I hope that they update Adam about when they find Victoria. Like, don't use Adam like this. And Adam, stop letting them use you like that or whatever. But it is what it is. So then we go to um, we go to Nick and Sharon. So Nick comes in and, and, and you know he updated Sharon on everything. And after oh after he updates Sharon on everything, he's like, "Is something wrong?" And she says, "You know, Ray is going on this trip with Chelsea and Connor." And he was like, oh, it's just to the game or whatever. And she says, it's an overnight trip. And he says, Sharon, you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to Ray. She said, I'm not worried about Ray. I'm worried about Chelsea. 
Um, but as they're talking and he's trying to reassure her, he gets he gets the phone call from Victor, and Victor tells him, "Your mom was on the phone and she heard Victoria have a wreck or something, and we're looking for her." He said, "Man, the weather is so bad right now that I wouldn't be surprised if she, you know if um she had to pull over or something like that." But he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go and search for her myself," and, he, and his dad was like, "Okay." And so he tells Sharon, and she was like, man, um, Ray hasn't came back. And he was like, he probably pulled over. Or, you know, he probably, uh, he'll, he, everything is fine. But you don't have anything to worry about with Chelsea. But he got to go because he got to go look for Victoria. And so she says, okay. And so Chelsea, because Connor is like, mom, it's getting late. Like, Ray should be back by now. And she says, hold on, let me go to, uh, talk to Chelsea uh, Sharon so Chelsea goes in and she says Ray isn't answering my calls and everything and so Sharon says I call him and so Sharon calls him and, and everything and and she can't get to him and so she tells Chelsea Chelsea sees that she's worried and she says what's going on and she said I was just thinking about Victoria they Nick just said Victoria ha might have had an accident and she said I'm thinking that if Ray ran upon the accident or he heard about it he's probably there checking on her so he'll be here. He'll just be a little late. But you can tell they both having to like reassure each other that everything's okay with Ray. Because they're like, this weather is really bad. It's very foggy. It's really bad. And so they're like, okay. And so they go, they go ahead about their business. And then Chase comes in. And Chase says, she, you know, Sharon says, oh, I'm glad you're here. Um, have you heard about any accidents? And he was like, no. And so she, he checks for her. He said, I'm just some fender benders. He said, so, cause she told him about Victoria. So he said, so if Victoria was in anything, it wasn't nothing but a fender bender. And she was like, oh, good. And he said, but I talked to Ray and he said he was leaving the ranch. So he should have been here by now. That don't, uh, that doesn't help um, Sharon. So she's like, oh gosh. And Connor is just like, mom, where's Ray? And he, and Chelsea is just like, He's probably having to do some police work, but he'll make it up to you because that's just the kind of man he is. I was like, child, let's move on. So then Nikki, um, and Nikki and Victor are sitting there. And, you know, of course, Nikki heard, hears the wreck and everything, and she tells Victor. So Victor calls his people, and he says, I need you to find Victoria. She left Newman Media, like, no, Newman Tower. So go straight take all the roads because she went for a drive and just find them. And so he, they're going and he tries to reassure Nikki. And then um, Nick comes and he says, I looked and I couldn't find her. He said in the road, I he said, I had to get off the road because it's that bad outside. And Nikki says, I'm about to go find her myself. And they said, no, ma. he was like, no, ma, you can't go. And Victor says, no, I can't be worried about you. I'm already worried about Victoria. And he says, this is my fault because I told my men to stop trailing Victoria and to trail Ashlyn. And they said, well, what news do they have on Ashlyn? And he said, I, they're, they're getting back to me. Victor men don't be doing nothing. He just be fussing at them for no reason because they still not going to do nothing. And anyway, so they hit him up. Mm. They hit him up and they say there was a wreck, but we've lost Ashlyn. And Victoria wasn't in the car. And they're like, oh my God. And they said, Do you think Ashlyn could have did this? And they were like, We we don't know. Um, they're they're still looking and they're gonna get back to us because they can't go anywhere because the weather is that bad. Um, you could barely see in front of you. So then we see um, Ashlyn and I mean, excuse me. Then we see Victoria. So Victoria's passed out and she's hit this white car and it's a white car or whatever that's been hit. And so we see in the white car is Ashlyn. So Ashlyn wakes up and everything and he see, he knows it's Victoria. So he's screaming out Victoria. He tries to open his door and he can't get in. And so when he can't get in, um, get, get out, he tries to get his cell phone to make a call, but his cell phone is gone. Cause you know, they've been in a wreck and his cell, I guess his cell phone broke. He got an iPhone or something, you know, it don't take much for them. But anyways, <laughs> um, he tries to get out again and he can't. Now, Victoria, you know, Nikki's trying to call Victoria. Victoria's passed out. And, you know, then the, her car caught, catches on fire. And Ashlyn's like, anybody help? Somebody help? So then he finally manages to kick his door open, you know, because the pine tree was in the way. I was 
hear that little pine tree? Open your door, Ashlyn. So anyways, he opens his door and he runs over to Victoria and he burns his hand. And so he takes his coat off and he, you know, beats the smoke, the fire off the coat. And he grabs Victoria and gets her out. Now he takes her from the crime scene to this little cabin. And so he takes her to the cabin or whatever. And he was like, Victoria, wake up. You're strong. You're a strong woman. Wake up, wake up. And so she wakes up and she looks uh, and her eyes open up. She looks at Ashley. She said, get away from me. I said, Victoria, she told, she told, get away from me. What are you doing here? And so he tells her about the wreck and everything. And he says, I got to go. And she was like, there must be somebody out there that can help us or whatever. He says, no, Victoria, I got to go. And um, I got to go back to try to see if I can get some help. And, and so he said, you going to be okay? And she was like, yes. And so he leaves to go try to find some help. And... Then, you know, a few minutes later, Victoria, I said, girl, take off them heels and you maybe you could walk a little bit. But anyways, Victoria um, can't move because she said she hurt her knee and, and she starts screaming for help. And Ashton comes back and he says, I'm here. I'm here. And she says, who's I got? There must be some other help. There must be some houses or something. And he, she was like, no. And she says, um, he says, look to see if your cell phone is on you because I looked in your car and your car is gone. I can't even get to it. And she says, what happened? So he starts telling her that he said, OK, the reason I knew where you were is because I followed you. And she said, what? He said, you look so upset when you came out of the tower, the office that I followed you because, you know, the weather was really bad and I didn't want you to get hurt. And so she says, you're lying to me about something. Tell me what happened. He says, OK. He says, you were driving and a car slid over into your lane. Because she said, I remember driving and there was a car, she said, but I hit somebody and it wasn't you because you were behind me. And he said, yes, you were driving and a car slid over to your lane. And when they slid over to your lane, um, I guess she was, she, you died, you tried to dodge it so that you wouldn't hit it. He said, so when you dodged it, I went sideways, so I wouldn't hit it. He said, but the car ended up hitting me. And then going into a ditch. And she said, oh my gosh. She said, um, he said, then um, I when I came to, your, you were in the car and it went up in flames or whatever. And I tried to get you out. You know, I got you out. And she said, your hand, is that what you, I said, that little jelly on his hand, girl, stop it. But okay. She said, your hand, that's what happened. You saved me. And he was like, yes. And he was like, so I got you out. And she said, but that's not it. What about the driver? And he said, Victoria, just concentrate on your, you know, yourself. We need to try to get some help. And she said, no, stop lying to me. Stop trying to protect me. Tell me about the driver. He said, Victoria, the driver didn't make it. They landed up in the ditch and there was nothing I can do. But he did tell her also, he said, um, he, he wished there was something he could do for that driver. There was nothing. But he wasn't about to let her die because that would have been like, as he left his friend, you know, he let him die in, the, uh, in a car accident, burn, get burned up. He said, I wasn't going to let that happen twice or whatever. And she says, okay, I, I get that. But what about the driver? He says, Victoria, you knew the driver. And she was like, what? Who Who was it? And he was like, it was Ray. And she's like, oh, my gosh, because, you know, that's Sharon's husband, Nick's ex-wife, the mother to, um, um, still, you know, her niece and nephew and everything. And she's like, oh, my God. And that was the young and the restless today. Um, on the scale of one to ten, it was like a eight. I mean, it was a solid episode, 8.5. 8, 8 All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a new episode.